OK. I have created several videos for Windows Live and interactive wallpapers before. You can check out the video description below for the links of those videos. For this one, we will start at Microsoft Store. Search for WinDynamic Desktop. Then install it by clicking the Get button. This wallpaper is different from the live and interactive Windows wallpapers I've featured before. This one is dynamic. It will automatically change based on the time of the day of your PC. When it's morning, the wallpaper will be bright. As the day goes on, the wallpaper will change automatically. In the late afternoon it will be dimmer and eventually become darker at nighttime. Then will go brighter again when the morning comes. It is literally a dynamic wallpaper. Based on your PC's time of the day. Alright. The application is installed. Let's open it. We will need to select the language here, which of course we'll be choosing English. Then click the OK button. Now we can configure the schedule of the dynamic setup. We can define what time is the sunset and the sunrise. It can either be determined by your PC's GPS location, then the app will check the current time on that location, and will base the state of the wallpaper on that. You will of course need a permission to the Windows location for that. You can also select a specific time for the sunset and sunrise if you want, and then set how long the sunset and sunrise will be. I will select this option for now, for testing purposes, but my recommendation is to use the location for this, so that no matter where you are in the world, the dynamic wallpaper change happens correctly. Just make sure your PC's GPS is always on. You can change these settings anytime, which is accessible from the WinDynamic Desktop app menu. Let's click OK again. Alright. We're now on the main page of WinDynamic Desktop app. From the left side, you have the choices of the preloaded dynamic wallpapers. You will need to download them first before you can use it. Let's download one now. Downloading of wallpaper might take 5 seconds to 1 minute, depending on your internet connection speed and the size of the wallpaper. The wallpapers are usually just small in size though. OK. I've downloaded two of them. Once downloaded, you can click on the Apply button to use the selected wallpaper. There we go. My current time is 1.30 pm, so the wallpaper is bright since it is noon time. Let's test the wallpaper if it will change automatically when I change my laptop's time. Let's turn off the automatic setting of time. Now we can set the time manually. Let's set it to 6.30 pm, which is in the scope of the sunset. There we go. As you can see, the wallpaper has automatically changed to a sunset sky now. Beautiful semi-night sky effect. Now let's set the time manually to 6 am, which is the sunset time we've set. There we go. Wallpaper is in the morning sky now. Imagine that change happening gradually every day depending on the time of day. Isn't that great or what? To access back the Wind Dynamic Desktop UI, just look for its icon from the taskbar. Then clicking on it will bring up its pop-up menu. From here you can access all of the parts and functions of the app, like the configuration of the sunrise and sunset time, and the selection of theme. Let's try the other wallpaper that I downloaded earlier. Let's select that, then click the apply button. We are currently at 6.01 am, so this is the sunrise wallpaper. Let's change that to 6.01 pm and see what happens. There we go. So this wallpaper uses a different angle of picture for sunset time. You can also do that on your dynamic desktop wallpaper or DDW file, use different picture for each time of day. I'll also show you how to create your own DDW file later. Let me set the time to automatic again. Here we go. We have a noontime wallpaper now with blue waters now. Beautiful. Now let me show you the other menu options of the app. In more options here, you can reselect the language, refresh the wallpaper, shuffle them every day, pause the changing of wallpaper when you are working on other apps full screen. If you are not familiar with JSON and PowerShell coding, you better leave the configuration file and PowerShell scripts alone to avoid breaking the app. From the menu, you can also change your Windows lock screen image. You also have an option here to trigger the night mode. Let's try that. There you go. The wallpaper now is in night mode, regardless of the current time of your PC. Let me turn that off again. As mentioned earlier, you can also reconfigure the schedule of sunrise and sunset here by choosing this menu. OK. Let's open the theme selection UI again to show you how you can create your own dynamic desktop wallpaper file, or the DDW file, for free. Let's open a browser. Thus go to the site ddw-theme-creator.versal.app. You can copy the URL from the video description below. From here you can create a DDW file from a set of images. This is what I recommend for you to use if you want to create your own DDW file, since you can explicitly define your sunrise, sunset, daytime, and nighttime images here, which will create a great transition for a dynamic wallpaper. 
but for the purpose of not spending too much time here, and for the sake of doing a quick demo for you, let's do the theme from a single image only. I already have a downloaded wallpaper sample here. All you need to do is drag it to the box in the web page. There we go. You can see a preview here of the transition that will happen to the image. You are not allowed to rearrange the images. They are fixed. Just give the theme a name. Let's put in beach white sand here. Then click on the create.ddw file. You will then get a link to download the ddw file. Just click on that. OK. We now have our ddw file in our download folder. Let's go back to the select theme page. Click on the import from file button. Then select the ddw file we've created. There we go. It's now loaded. Let's now apply it. We are currently in sunset mode. Let's change the time to night mode. And that's it. The picture just becomes dimmer at night time. I'm sure the image will just be a brighter image when we set the time in the morning. That's why I highly recommend to create a four separate image for sunset, sunrise, day and night photos, where you can define a proper day and night sky, a proper sunrise and sunset sky, just like the preloaded templates of the app. Here we go. The brighter picture for the morning time, which is still good, but can still be much better if the sky part changes. Alright. That's basically it for this one. All the things you need to know to download, configure and use the WinDynamic desktop app. A light, easy to install, easy to use, easy to customize dynamic wallpaper app for Windows. And it is absolutely free which you can easily get from the Microsoft Store. I hope this helps. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.